Hello! Today I'm going to share with you my unique experience uh, in New Age and I'm going to explain why I left New Age spirituality. So, for eight years that I'm uh, receiving healing from New Age um, practices, for those ones who don't know what New Age is, New Age is this combination of so many practices of uh, energy healing, holistic healings, all this salad of practices coming from different places. In the end, it's not uh, new, it's ancient, it's very old. It's a combination of all these, these old practices and it's everything there. And they call it the energy healing and uh, they say it's to manifest amazing things in your life and so on and so on and uh, I started with shamanism I started with shamanism receiving the plants medicine um, started with ayahuasca then I even did uh, Iboga and um, and that was where I started eight years ago because this is what happens when we are very traumatized we want to be saved and we go to ask for help at places that they look really light and kind and then when we go deep inside we are going to engage with these practices and illusions and we want more and more and more so in the end it doesn't save you and it doesn't release you it keeps you in your ego wanting for more searching for more and I have a very curious ego. <laughs> I'm very curious. Uh, so I want to find out the secrets of universe and more and more and more. So I was doing that process on myself. And then I studied courses to also help people. But I did with massage, massage therapist. And I went to a spa. It was a five star hotel spa very beautiful where uh, I was uh, helping people with massage therapies and uh, this is where I start to help people with massage then uh, I studied Tete healing to help people and uh, I studied uh, I also studied the EFT and I studied access consciousness and Access Consciousness was my favorite <laughs> and uh, Access Consciousness has uh, a good philosophy, I love, I love the philosophy and now I understand why I loved so much the philosophy of Access Consciousness because um, now I'm reading the, the Bible, uh, the Holy Bible that I never read before, only now uh, I started on September to reading the Bible, the Holy Bible, and I started straight away on the, the New Testament of Jesus Christ. And I just saw that Access Consciousness is a copy. <laughs> and I was thinking, wow, I took so many, I, I took so many courses and I spent so much money and I just could have for free here in the Bible <laughs> because it's the truth if you live the philosophy of Jesus Christ if you practice that what it teach for real what is in the Holy Bible the testament of the new Jesus Christ is like we would live in paradise here but it's very difficult to practice because we are very weak we are slaves of our ego traumas very easy manipulated that's why we fall on these false religions such as uh, New Age because New Age is a religion I didn't know but it, it is a religion where you study occultism 
and you go to do these practices with these entities that I call energy of light and healing and they are just entities and I, f I saw that because yes uh, I was helping people with access consciousness and tete healing mostly access consciousness I'm happy for that because it's a good philosophy based on the Bible of Jesus Christ <laughs> But now I don't need any more access consciousness. I have straight away Jesus Christ, right? Anyway, um, so uh, so I saw these energies because when when you take the plant's medicine, you really go to the energetic and spiritual world, and you see lots of things so I saw many things there and it's very dangerous place and um, these uh, like devil exists come on <laughs> that is so obvious and the biggest lie is, that he tells to people is like he doesn't exist a new era a new era a new age is about that it's like uh, evil doesn't exist Come on, of course it will exist. <laughs> if you look at the car passing. If you look at the world, what is that? False religions, even uh, saying they are coming from Jesus with pedophile, satanistic, worshipping things and sacrifice they do this human traffic they they are the the ones that own the organizations of prostitution uh, come on uh, this is the, the drugs all this belongs to devil huh? and people they are uh, enslaved of these things because they don't have a solid ground like I was I, I was I, I, well, I, I never took drugs, but I was taking, uh, not lately because of the access consciousness, but before that, um, many years ago, I was taking the shamanism plants and yes, they open all your sense to see the spiritual and energetic world. And there's a lot of deceit there because they play they play roles uh, and they lie these entities they pretend to be light and they are not because if uh, if you if it's true light then uh, you will feel true peace not be stuck in your ego chasing for more want more and want hearing material things and you know and the new e the new age keeps you enslaved on your ego to want for more seek for more get more get one more course and then get uh, more uh, i don't know crystals get more <laughs> go get more whatever i don't know it's so many things it's a lot of everything and then um you waste your all your ma money on this pyramid scheme because new age is a pyramid scheme where you have these big sharks they are channeling the entities of how you make money how you manifest this how you manifest that your soulmate doesn't exist soulmate <laughs> this is a lie and they they keep people so engaged with this candies you know because he's like but he's a, he's the ego you never get out of the ego in new age never and i realized about that because i was practicing access consciousness that you makes you to question everything and uh, my expertise is helping people to get out of manipulation so that's uh, i was doing that work on myself and um and it, it, that's why i was <laughs> in front with the truth you see that's why i saw all the truth 
because I was asking for the truth and I was uh, asking myself in the middle of all this mess where I'm going to be you know when we die where I'm going to be because I saw the spiritual world the energetic world such a dangerous place and I was concerned about that so I was questioning all that and then uh, and then I um, I went to do a course of uh, uh, psychic abilities and that uh, was uh, a, with the alien things I don't know I don't remember so well yes it was with the light uh, the aliens of light and I was just curious to see what is there you see the ego never ends and you are going course after course and then uh, I went there and I saw they were the same entities of those religions of uh, Ubanda and Candomblé and Spiritism uh, in Brazil. Because uh, in the past uh, I was just reading about that. Not study a lot, but reading a lot about that. And. Uh, and also from ayahuasca <laughs> and uh, iboga same entities and that was just wow they are the same <laughs> the same entities the same kind of energy everywhere that is not light that is not light our legions of devil pretending to be light in a different practices ah, it was so clear so clear and then i was like oh, i was in shock because then i discovered the truth i found out the truth and and my money all my money is there in these courses courses of everything i have so many certificates of everything <laughs> And you know, because it's a pyramid scheme, and uh, I even got also a mentor to help me with uh, helping people, and it's always the same, uh, same teachings like of this pyramid scheme. You know, uh, these people they really want to help therapists, mentors. They really want to help. You see, it's, it's just because they are deceived and they are manipulated there. They don't see the truth. Because when you are in your ego, you don't see the truth. You are blocked on, and you are too much distracted with these lies. Because these lies, they keep you there seeking for more, searching for more, receiving more. And the ego is never happy, it wants always more. That you see these big sharks on this new age religion. They are there on top. They sell the books, they, they, they sell the courses. They, they are all the time uh, traveling in all world. They are workaholics because when you are working for entities, you can't stop. You have to do everything what they want. You are you become really a slave of that, and they they are like that. These big sharks on top of the pyramid scheme, and then uh, people engage there to these things, and they take one more course, one more master class, one more of this, one more of that, and never ending. One more book, one more. Hi, and these people. <sighs> They really want to help, you know, but they are being deceived and they are not happy. They are workaholics and be addicted to uh, to the work is also an addiction. And this is where devil operates is keep people addicted because then uh, they are enslaved of their egos. Um, addicted to sex, addicted to food, addict, addicted to work, addicted 
to alcohol, to drugs, addicted, whatever, you know. This is the place where you are a slave of your ego, a slave of the addictions. And I was becoming workaholic in these last months. And I was, I, I, because I was following the access consciousness, you have to feel the, follow the joy of doing the things right. And these last months, special July, August, I was not happy feeling joy anymore because I was feeling frustrated and I was all the time in the computer working. And then uh, it was, my husband was even telling me, so I don't have a wife anymore. And I have a very solid marriage, a very solid marriage. I, I help people with their marriages and relationships because that I'm expert on that. I have a very solid marriage. <laughs> And then uh, I was listening to him and I, and I was questioning myself, he's totally right. I'm not there anymore with him having quality time. I'm all the time on working, work, 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 and take more courses. I was taking so much courses lately as well. And I spent all my money on courses. <laughs> because this is what the pyramid scheme is. Take one more course, then you help your clients take more courses more courses more courses and you so you become a, a workaholic taking more courses to remain there on the pyramid scheme and then and then you are working by yourself on your business and you get addicted and lost and you, you are in the ego devil always keeps you in the ego always ah, then this i saw this bible at my place <laughs> because the godfather of my husband went to spain and he couldn't take so many things and he left so so some stuff and the bible he gave gave to us because he had to and then I said to myself, I'm exhausted, frustrated. I'm going to stop now for a while, have a break, be with my husband, have quality time. <laughs> because ah, this is getting insane. I'm being addicted to courses and to my job. This is crazy. Taking courses, Theta Healing courses, I was taking a lot. And then. Um, I, I look I look at that Bible I said ah let's see what Jesus Christ says I never read that I jumped straight away to the New Testament when I start to read heavy weight of frustration that I was feeling came out three pages of Jesus Christ teachings I felt such a relief all these courses, all these healing practices, everything I took all these eight years. <laughs> I spend all my money there. It's for free there in the Bible. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> and then more I read the Bible. I'm still reading, of course. I read every day. And... I saw access consciousness was based on that, the philosophy of access consciousness. So I was so happy that I was practicing access consciousness. <laughs> but lots of lies I detected in New Age. And some entities, they were next to me because I was taking these courses, right? Of New Age, entities of New Age. They left from from me, of me, of my, and my energy filled my life. So I feel so much peace, so much love, true love. This is true love. Now I just feel like to pray for everybody. <sighs> ah, that is true freedom because you're not in your ego so much. That's amazing. Happiness is 
as I was already teaching that you can't be in your ego, can't be a slave of your mind. Yes, because I, I uh, NLP is really good when you apply it for um, forgiveness and uh, compassion, right? And I help people now only with NLP and it is to really release heavy wounds, emotional wounds, but with forgiveness and true release, you know? And of course, if people just read the Bible every day <laughs> and practice. And you don't need a religion, huh? You just read the Bible every day and practice what Jesus teaches. Just that. Just that. Just that. And you surrender. You repent and send all what you regret, all your wounds, everything. Because you know what? Almighty God, Jesus Christ, they don't care about your past. They just want, they just care about your future. <laughs> so if you choose, like Access Consciousness said, <laughs> everything is a choice. And Access Consciousness is based in the Bible. <laughs> Oh, that's so cool. I'm really happy that uh, uh, I was with access consciousness at least in the middle of all that mess. <laughs> I, but I don't need it anymore because no, I went to the, the source <laughs> where this philosophy was copying it, copied. And, um, you know, it is... It's not easy to practice kindness, love, forgiveness. People they just want to be in their egos because it's the ego. The ego has to be right. The ego. The ego. Well, the ego is very stupid and dumb. It doesn't know nothing about life. Ego is just want to survive here in this life, but it is it is so so weak. The ego does everything for a plate of food, you know? We have to be stronger than our ego and go to the truth. And that's what I was already teaching, because NLP can help you with that. But NLP just keeps in your mind. You know, it doesn't work at spiritual level. So you still work in your mind. And when you are just in the mind, in the mind, in the mind, you will feel lost and want to be saved. And you will do everything for a crumb of affection. That's why we see nowadays people destroying their lives with sex they just have sex with everybody in exchange of uh, affection your body is too precious it's a sacred temple don't do that at energetic level when you do that there's lots of consequences well at physical level as well we get all these diseases disgusting <laughs> I'm laughing, but it's, it's very serious. You have to choose very well. What are you doing with your life? We only have this life. And then when our body dies, we have other life. You have two lives. So you have to be very careful with what you are choosing. Because devil is here to destroy, to steal, to deceive. And devil hates people and use people to just have fun with. It's very dangerous. And you can laugh, you can mock of my experience on what I'm saying, but that doesn't matter because only the truth matters. And if people are denying the truth, they suffer. 
and they are a slave of devil and their egos and they suffer because that is the place where you suffer when you are in your ego all the time in your mind all the time being a slave of your mind and open the door to devil and belong to these false religions where you worship devil and even you don't know because you think he's light be careful I have been there I know very well what I saw what I experienced So happy that I'm not there anymore. <laughs> so <laughs> this is true joy. <laughs> I'm not there anymore. But uh, we have to be vigilant all the time. Watch and pray all the time. All the time. All the time. This planet, you don't play here with these energies. You have to be really watch and pray because the enemy is always chasing for you okay so <laughs> many people are going to hate me after this video and you know what the truth is going to be revealed and many people are going to be in shock and uh, I think it's sooner than we think that all the truth is going to be revealed because we see we see already so much darkness being exposed even if you are in denial you are in new age saying no energy healing saves me and then they they even say they put Jesus as a hippie <laughs> they would put Jesus very small they, they so, so full of lies and deceit if you read the Bible, you will find out the truth. And that is nothing to do with religion. It doesn't have to go to any place. Just be at home with the Bible, that's it. And <laughs> the Bible is very cheap. It's not the price of all those courses. No. Uh, believe me it's a pyramid scheme and it was destroying me my finances and was destroying my marriage I have a very solid marriage and I know how to do that have a solid marriage but I was becoming a workaholic having more courses and my husband was saying one more course what for and at that price so expensive Sylvia I said, yeah, but I need it because then I help people more with this. <laughs> That's a healing I was taking a lot. Um, and then I took that one of psychic abilities that was with this new fleet of uh, aliens, whatever, because everybody talks about that in New Age. And I was curious, very curious, remember? And I went there, oh, let's check what is there. And it was exactly the same entities of this Ubanda, Kanoble, and Spiritis. <laughs> that a uh, lot many years ago I was following, but not participating, but following like uh, as a curiosity, listening to their videos, their messages and everything. <laughs> and also received some uh, those energy healings from them uh, by in YouTube because I listen a lot I used to listen a lot these Brazilian uh, healers of those alternative paganism uh, religions and it's the same on this alien fleet of light whatever I was like but it's all the same just with different names <laughs> my god then it's just like one plus one is equal to two so <laughs> so this was my experience where I saw all the truth 
in front of my eyes and uh, I talked with my clients all of them and I told them everything I found out and to cancel the EFT to not practice the EFT anymore just the PNL NLP sorry PNL is in Portuguese we say NLP just to practice the NLP the teachings to shift the emotions there uh, the way I was teaching and uh, the traumas of the, the past and everything that is okay that is good practice the psychology uh, but it's in the mind it doesn't save you it doesn't save you it's just a relief